Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explore the question, what is the unit tangent vector? Well, let's start again with the position vector. A position vector is a vector that shows a position on the xy plane reference to the origin. Of course, this could be referencing or, or showing the position of a particle moving along this green line right there from here to there. And the way we found the velocity of that particle is that we picked a small time later. We had another position vector at r is a function of t plus a delta t. And as delta t went to zero, those two vectors came closer and closer and closer together. And eventually, the, the, the vector pointing from one position to the next position, a small delta t later, divided by delta t in the limit as delta t went to zero, that became the derivative of the position vector, which also explained it was the velocity of that particle along that path. So here you can see that the red vector here represents the velocity of that particle as it's moving along this path, which would be the derivative of our position vector. Now, if we take that velocity, which is the derivative of our position vector, and divided by the magnitude of that velocity, or the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector, that then defines what we call the unit tangent vector. So, the unit tangent vector is a vector tangent to the path of that particle of unit length equal to 1. So we can say that t, with a little hat on it like that, as a function of the parametric variable t, is a unit vector of length 1. It's pointing in the same direction as the change of the position of the particle, which means per unit time, which is the velocity of the particle. It points in the same direction as the velocity of the particle, and it has length equal to 1, so the unit length equal to 1. So we can see that the Unit tangent vector is defined as the derivative of the position vector divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector, or defined as the velocity divided by, or the velocity vector divided by the magnitude of the velocity. So let's do an example of that so that you can see how that actually works. We go back to our position vector that we've used before, t squared in the i direction plus 3t in the j direction, x and y direction, of course, and we're going to evaluate the unit tangent vector when t is equal to 2. That means we first need to find the derivative of that vector because we're going to define the, the unit vector, uh, unit tangent vector by that equation right there. So first we have r as a function, or r, the derivative of r as a function of time is equal to 2t in the x direction plus 3 in the j direction. Now we want to find the magnitude of that. So what is the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector? Well, that would be equal to the square root of the x component squared, which is 2t squared, plus the y component squared. So that means that this is equal to the square root of 4t squared plus 9. And so that would then be the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector. Now, defining the unit tangent vector. So the unit tangent vector as a function of t is equal to the derivative of the position vector divided by the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector. So in this case that's equal to 2t in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction divided by the square root of 4t squared plus 9. So that would then be what we call the unit tangent vector. Hmm, it's hard to see that that is of length equal to 1. But now let's evaluate it for a particular value for t, in this case when t is equal to 2. So now we're going to evaluate our unit tangent vector when t is equal to 2, and so that would be equal to 2 times 2 in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction divided by the square root of 4 times 2 squared plus 9. Notice that then becomes, this is 4 in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction, all divided by 4 times 4, which is 16 plus 9, which is the square root of 25, which means that this is equal to 4 in the i direction plus 3 in the j direction divided by 5, or if you want to write it out in a more simplified manner, this is equal to 0. 8 in the i direction plus 0 0.6 
in the J direction. That's not a very good symbol there. There we go. Now, is that indeed equal to 1? Well, let's find out what's the magnitude of that. So if we take the magnitude of that unit vector when t is equal to 2, that would be equal to the square root of the x component squared, 0 0.8 squared plus 0 0.6 squared. So that would be equal to the square root of 0 0.64 plus 0 0.36. That's equal to the square root of 1, which is equal to 1. And just as what we would expect, you can see that the unit tangent vector of this particular position vector, evaluated t equals 2, does indeed have magnitude equal to 1. But without plugging a particular value for t, this would be the equation describing that unit tangent vector. So this is the unit tangent vector for this particular position vector, but then if we take the derivative of that, divided by the magnitude, and evaluate it at t equals 2, indeed we can see that your unit position vector, or unit tangent vector, I should say, is indeed equal to 1 in magnitude. And that's how it's done.